Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to work on a dirt trummel or rotary screener. This unit is pure Chineseium. However, it is made out of iron and electric motors and VFDs and I specialize in those. I believe it's a model 8570, Chinese name. There is no data tag that I can see anywhere. The reason these are not popular in the dirt screening world is they are 480 volt only, which I don't know about you, anybody that is running 480 volt and needing to screen dirt generally does not need something this small. China, if you're listening, all of this needs to be single phase, plug and play. I don't believe that there would be a need for this large of a motor for what this machine is doing. Maybe I'm wrong. And this vibro needs to be single phase as well. Maybe this is just plug into the wall. Maybe this is 220 volt. I don't know. We're going to investigate this machine, try to tackle it together and see if we can screen some dirt. So far, pretty heavy duty construction. This is like 5 16 solid. And I would say this here is eighth inch and the holes are three quarter of an inch. So pretty nice machine. We will see if it stands up to the test of time. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna be moving kind of fast in this video. Let's see if we can get this thing going. First order of business, I'm going after the uh, vibrating motor here. I was hoping I could switch it from high voltage. This is 460 volt only. Uh, I cannot. It is uh, glazed or epoxied closed, whatever you call that. However, this motor can be switched. You can see I've got uh, low, low voltage and high voltage here. Uh, so I think I can switch this motor from 460 volt only. Uh, that's, the, that's the hope, fingers and toes crossed. We're just gonna shoot some low voltage three phase into this with a VFD. They kind of have their own protection and see if we can run it. Even if we can run it at 50%, uh, it'll probably be fine. I believe this is meaning that this can be a Y or a Delta connection. I'm not a certified electrician, but I certainly know enough to be dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna try and test run this. This motor may only be 460 volt. However, you can run them on a lower voltage. They just start slower. They don't have the pull through that they have. Obviously, it's not recommended to run them on that speed forever, but we're wanting to do proof of concept. Worst case scenario, I can pull this motor, take it to my motor shop and uh, have them set it up for me and make sure that it can be ran on low voltage. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first signs of success. We are running this KB drive, absolutely love these. This particular one is single phase or three phase input, just reduces your motor horsepower, love that. We are running it on the 220 side because I'm gonna try to run this from a generator. This drive has already been pre-programmed from a different machine, so I will do a factory reset on this, but we're gonna hit the run button here. I don't know what this, uh, this clunk is, You'll hear a clunk, but the drive fires right up and we are only pulling 1.7 amps. So we are well within the parameters of this. Uh, even if I speed it up, it'll really start clunking here. Gonna speed this up to 900 RPM. That's what this was originally programmed for. We're only running two amps. Obviously, I have to figure out what that clunk is. Something is rubbing somewhere. But we will not be screening material that fast. I don't think. I don't think we would. Pretty freaking sweet. So we've got our first hurdle done. Might be able to, might be able to piggyback this vibrator in with this same drive. I don't know about that yet. I might put this on its own drive. I don't want to get too greedy here. Here, we'll just slow this down here. 
you probably can't see it because the frame rate of the camera, but here we're at 308 RPM. That's again what this was programmed for. I'm not saying that that's what this is spinning. This seems a little bit more uh, my speed for dirt screening, but I could be wrong. Also, it doesn't sound like the machine's coming apart, so that's always nice. Really cannot tell what that clunking is. Might just be one of these bolt heads that's sticking out longer or something. I don't know yet. It'll make itself apparent. It'll be rubbing paint off here before long. But uh, so far, so good. And this thing did ship with oil in it. I had Tim remove this uh, lower level plug. Oil came out, so we're good on that front. I'm gonna see what we're pulling on our uh, input line to see if it's pulling way more than a generator could give us, but I highly doubt that it is, so we might be able to just seal this up and go right to uh, work with this side of it. On our low speed, we are not even pulling one amp, so I'm gonna speed this all the way up to that 900 speed and see if it's pulling more. It's only pulling two, maybe three amps. So it may go up to five when it's under a load when you actually have dirt screen. But uh, I don't think my generator's gonna have any problem running that. Could be mistaken. Okay, just for proof of concept, we are going to run the vibrator on this same two horsepower rated VFD. Obviously, this is not uh, two horsepower. This thing's tiny. I would say it's a third, but uh, I don't have another one of these uh, small drives in today, so we're just going to proof of concept it. I doubt you can tell what it's saying. The uh, LED LCD display always reads out weird, but this is set on 308 right now. Again, this drive was pre-programmed, so here goes nothing. We're hitting the run button. I don't hear anything. I don't feel anything. Let's speed it up. Okay, here we go. I can hear it, but it's not doing much. I'd say it's running very, very slowly. Okay. We are going to hit the run button. As you can see, it really does not have enough chooch to make it start, but I can slam it and help it, and then it takes off. So I doubt we're going to be able to use this because this is 480 volt only. Very annoying, but I do have other vibrators laying around, so this will probably just be ignored for a while unless I could find a step up transformer that would be small enough to play with this but I don't know that it's necessary. We're going to speed this up to let's do 600 and see what happens. If I wanted to help it I could. I don't know what we're going to want with this. I don't want to go to 900 because I already did that and it was really winging you can see this loose panel. It's definitely got vibration. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but it's vibrating. So uh, I can actually feel the concrete vibrating down here. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, definitely would be wanting to run this at about half the RPM uh, that one of these could produce. So don't know what we'll do here. We might ignore that for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, we have success. I effectively lobotomized this electrical control panel, put this KB drive in there, love these things. This is NEMA 4, so as I understand it, you could spray this with a garden hose and you'll be okay. I think it's wash downable is what they call it. Uh, motor is perfect, didn't have to do any rewiring on that. It's pulling no amps, we're running the unit slow. As I thought, running the unit would finally reveal what the clunk was. It was the welds. You'll see it come around here. I'm running it pretty slow. There you can see where I just ground them down. They were clunking against the wheel in there. 
So now we have a very nice, quiet dirt screener. I have reset this drive to all the factory parameters so we can go up by tens. We're at 399 RPM. We can go up by one RPM at a time. It's not going to be that technical. Uh, you're not going to need like 412 RPM as the sweet spot. Uh, or we can go up by hundreds. We are at, I don't think I want to go that fast. <laughs> Let's do 600. That's twice the speed. Yeah, maybe we can go faster. Let's do 900 RPM. 907. It's really winging now. Dare I say it, I think I'm going to push it to the limit. 1800 RPM, here we go. We will not be running it that fast, or maybe we will, I don't know. But uh, you're going to be screening some product there, buddy. Oiled up this uh, this chain here because it's never going to get oiled again. Put my best foot forward. Of course, it's kind of a rattle trap. Got sheet metal here that's loose. That's what that rattle is. They just never put bolts in or they vibrate it out. I don't know. We're not going to run it that fast, I don't believe. Go back down. Go to 100. This is supposed to be 100 RPM, but that is relative because the motor is spinning 100 RPM, and then you go into a gear reduction. So if it's 5 to 1, obviously you're spinning slower. But you can really fine-tune it with the VFD. That is a good idea for this. If anybody needs any help with these drives, please feel free to reach out to me. I've become somewhat of a self-taught expert on them. I'll say that in quotation marks. I'm not an electrician, but I know enough to be dangerous. So I'm going to call this a success. We're going to throw our shields back on. I have a new vibrator coming from Amazon. It's 110 volt, and we're planning to run this on generator anyway. So we'll just have our cord coming out to the generator and we'll plug that into the same generator and we'll be vibrating at maximum vibration. I don't know why we would want to vary the speed on that. I am as far as I can go on the project. I put this conveyor belt on here to keep the VFD out of the sunlight. We can coil up the little four foot cord underneath of it and keep it out of the sunlight. The UV really starts working on this SO cable. We're not gonna put this plate on yet because we're waiting on the vibrator. So we'll check back in when we get that.